In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of using modules in Joomla. In the last tutorial, we showed you how to format text in an article that we created. And the article that appears here, Welcome to the Art Gallery, that's not a module. That's part of our article category and menu structure. The logo, social icons, and menu are template features that we discussed in tutorial 5 of this series. When we want to add a module to this template, we need to access this template's module map. This is the module map for the CloudBase 3 template. And if I scroll down this page, you can see that there are many positions available for content when using this template. There are so many options for placing different types of content in your Joomla site through modules, especially using the CloudBase 3 template. And you can see the main body position here. That's where our articles will go. They'll stay in a static position once we start adding all the different module types around the main body content or our articles. Returning to the back end of the Joomla site, before we go to our module manager, let's open up our template manager. And we're going to change our default template back to the protostar template by clicking on the star in the default column. We're doing this because when we first launched the site, there were several pre-published modules in the site already. If I refresh the front end of the site, we'll revert back to the protostar template, but you can also see there are several modules in this page. We'll continue using the CloudBase 3 template in this tutorial series, and we'll change it back in just a moment. But again, you might remember that there were several modules here, including this image. There's also a popular tags module, latest articles module, a login module, and a breadcrumbs module down below, and a search module at the very top of this page. Now, we want to keep this login form in the site and we actually want to move this to our other template. So the first thing I want to do is go to the module positions in the CloudBase 3 template to pick a position for that module. I'll select this sidebar A position. So I want to change positions for that module. I'll do that by returning to the back end of the Joomla site. To access my modules, I'll go to Extension and open up my Module Manager. Again, you'll see that there are eight pre-published modules that come with our Joomla site. Modules, again, are assigned to a position, and all of these positions here are positions in the Protostar template. You'll also see that there are different types of modules, and that modules appear on some or all pages. To open up a module, click on the module name here. And once the login form is open, we're not going to really make any changes here except for the module position. Navigating off to the right side, I can see that there's a drop down menu to select a new position. This position, position 7, is in the Protostar template, but I want to select the sidebar A position in the CloudBase 3 template. So I have to lo locate CloudBase 3 in this list. Once I locate it, underneath are listed all the positions. I'm going to scroll back down until I see Sidebar A. Once I find the Sidebar A position, which is right here, I'll select it, and then I'll go ahead and save the module. The module is still published, but we've changed position so it appears in a different template. If we return to the front end of the site and refresh this page, we'll see that the login form disappears. Again, that's because it's now positioned in a different template. If we return to the back end of the site, let's go ahead and save and close this module. And then we'll go to Extensions and open up our Template Manager again. We'll select the CloudBase 3 as our default template this time. And we'll return to the front end of the site. And if I refresh this page now, not only will we revert back to the CloudBase 3 template, but we'll see that the login form has been added in the sidebar A position. Returning to the back end of the Joomla site, again, we're going to change our template to the Protostar template. We'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page so we can see all of those modules again. We do recommend that you disable 
delete or uninstall any modules you're not using in your site and that's what we want to do with these modules we're going to return to the back end of the Joomla site open up extensions and go to our module manager again there are eight published modules here I can click on the green check mark to unpublish individual modules or I can select all of my modules by clicking on the checkbox and then I can click on unpublish in the toolbar now I'll return to the front end of the Joomla site again and refresh the page and I'll see that all of the modules have now been unpublished we do want to continue using the CloudBase 3 as our default template though so I'll return to the back end of the Joomla site and I'll go to my template manager and once again we'll make CloudBase 3 our default template once we do that let's return to the front end of the site and refresh the page we're back using CloudBase 3 but our login form has disappeared and that's because we unpublished it if we want that to reappear let's go back to the back end we'll go back to our module manager again and we'll simply click on publish for our login form returning to the front end of the site we'll refresh the page and we'll see our login form reappear in a later tutorial I'll show you how to delete any modules you don't need and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to create a custom HTML module